Tails. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, um, what's the movie? Jersey Girl? Uh, yeah, with uh, Ben Affleck. Is, is that the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? She wanted to do a musical theater thing because that's her thing. Yes, right, yes. Right, right. And she's never sung before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That reminds me of, uh, is that the name of the movie? Jersey Girl, right? Uh, I think that is the name of the movie. Yes. That's why they didn't just Matilda. change the story. And, yeah, so, like, she doesn't have a singing background or whatever. So, um, afterwards, they had, like, a, a they had these callbacks. So, all the people that were there, if they were interested in you, you got, like, a callback sheet. And okay. And if you had zero to five callbacks, you had to go in the morning, and you basically could go and introduce yourself to whoever you wanted. Okay. And, um, and you had one minute with them. Mm -hmm. And so it was like this thing. And if you had more than five, then you didn't go to the morning thing. You just went to your callbacks. And this one had like seven, I think. So wow. She, and then you had the art, uh, the New York Film Academy, too. And then you had the. Oh, okay. And then you had the Bill and Jessica show. So it's seven. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so then she did the callbacks and, and she got to meet with some people. And there were some that just weren't good fits. Like the, the one organization is like based out of Kentucky. And okay. they do a lot of like work in Kentucky. Didn't know that there was work yep, in Kentucky. Yep. Not trying to go to Kentucky. Um, apparently there's work in Kentucky. So um, Alyssa said, I'll go to Kentucky. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So, um, but yeah, so there was like stuff like that. And then we've talked to this one lady, Lisa Williams, and she does stuff like based out of Orlando. She does a lot of voice work. Okay. Um, so it was cool because like we went down and like we both thought that she would get the most feedback for acting and dance because that's what she has the training. Right. So again, we have Alyssa Kleinmeyer in studio and her mom, Andrea, uh, talking about going down to Orlando, to, doing some tryouts, uh, doing some auditions. Now, What's the ultimate goal? Like, what do you want to do, um, uh, Alyssa? Do you want to, and, and what can you do from these auditions? Can you be cast in a Disney uh, movie or TV show? Can you be cast in a Netflix show? Can you be, like, what do you want to do? Well, I definitely want to act. Okay. Like, in a TV show, because that would be so cool. Okay. Okay. And, but... Because I also really want to dance and sing, too. Okay. Not as Tell much sing. Goal. And my like, life goal really is life to... Goal. Idina Menzel is my life goal. Because she's <laughs> she's voiced... She voiced Elsa. Okay. She was in two Broadway... Uh, like, Broadway productions. And she was on a TV show. Okay. Like, life goals. So you want to be in a TV show, like, on... Or it doesn't matter. Like, whatever. I don't really care. I just want to be in a TV show. Okay. And a Broadway musical. And voice a Disney character. Then there you go. There there you go. go. That's wow. what I wanted to hear. Yes. Wow. Yes. So um, you went down there. Tell us a little bit about, like, uh, you know, your experience uh, in Orlando, you know, and, and doing this. And as far as, like, getting up in front of the judges and, you know, like, give us a rundown. Well, it was a really great time, except for the part where I was melting down about singing. It's all good. It you did terrifying. great from what we heard. Yeah. I, I wish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so okay. So, um... I, it was a great time. I had so much fun. I made some friends. Right. That I'm still friends with. Probably um, lifelong friends. Yeah. Very good. Um, I'm two of them were from Texas. One of them's from West Virginia. Okay. So I had I met some friends. Um, we hung out like the whole weekend. It was a really big hotel. Okay. Like it was humongous. They had this giant pool, but it was shut down. Because okay. Something happened. I don't know. But um, and then with like, the performing stuff. It was so much fun because the stage was really big and there were a lot of people. So I like I like performing in there on there. Now, what and this might be more of a question for your mom, but where where do you go from here? What happens next? So um, 
so you were asking like wh what could happen and stuff like that and like this um art showcase like they were the ones that helped discover um the kid who played clay jensen in 13 reasons why okay um, his clay mom, yes yeah his mom is actually still very involved with um the arts like she's one of the talent recruiters now because she's trying to give back to the organization mm -hmm. that really helped her um yeah they also found jojo siwa um, and those are just a couple of the people that they found. So, like I said, like, it's kind of a bridge. So they connect the talent with the agencies and stuff like that. And then where that goes is different for every artist. Um, so, so I guess the question is just so, um, you know, people have like a clear view, like, all right, so let's just say I'm developing a show for Netflix and I would contact the agency and say, hey, look, we're looking for this. This is our casting call. Mm -hmm. We're looking for... Like, yes, they might do an open casting call, but also the first priority is Correct. contacting uh, the People agency, know. you know, yeah. and do you have anybody who you think would be good for this? Yeah. And then they, then that's what, that's when they contact you and then you mm -hmm. go to that tryout. Right. Okay. Um, so, um, right now it, it's funny. Cause like I said, we thought that she, uh, the interest was going to be with acting and with dancing just cause that's where her stuff is. And almost all of the feedback for her has been for her singing. Okay. And uh, so she has, um, she really caught the attention of, it was actually one of the guys that was in that first group in the round one. And so he saw her literally every single time. And um, they asked us to do a callback. We were supposed to follow up. I didn't follow up because I was just like, oh, whatever. They did a thousand callbacks. I was really lazy about it. I'll admit it. And uh, luckily, I didn't lose that opportunity for her because they reached back out to they me. They reached back out again. Yeah. They reached back out in February, and uh, they asked if they could do another callback with just her. And then he sat down, and he, like, broke it down and was just like, Alyssa, like, I love you. I love your maturity. And I think that a lot of that came from the fact that, like, while we were there, like, Alyssa on her own went up and thanked um, these producers and stuff like that like every time that she met with somebody she would go up and she would thank them for their time and that maturity came from her dad yeah yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that's a break right right very mature very mature um but yeah so she did that and then they reached back out and since then it's been kind of a crazy ride because um like he he, he has a um, record producing company up in New Jersey, but they it's called Water Sound Entertainment. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to say that. Okay. <laughs> um, I hope I am. And if not, I'm sorry, John. Um, but yeah, so he's been working with her and he's really trying to get her connected. And he said from the gate that he wants to spend the next two years really developing her talent. He's like, okay. I know that she's raw. I know that she doesn't, have, but there's something special about her. Mm -hmm. Like her voice is unique. And what did he say when he met with you? He said he, that you reminded him of who? Um, uh, I don't remember. Oh, like the Taylor Swift. What, what did you oh, he said that, um, I have a unique voice, and if he heard it, he would recognize it. Like, he would know it was me, and okay. he wouldn't get confused. With well, that's good. Mm. Yeah, no, yeah, no, that's, that's good. real so good. So stand yeah. out. So, um, so since then he started putting her in different meetings. So okay. we already did one with a Disney executive. And again, like now we're at the point where like, I have to sign non-disclosure agreements. Yeah, so, Disney. Like, I'm not even allowed to like name drop, which is, I was like, that's so weird. All right. Let me ask you this. <laughs> if I said the name, which I won't, <laughs> but if I, or, or I'm sorry, if you said the name, if you were able to tell me, would I know who it is? You're in the music industry, so you might. Okay. Like, normal people, I don't think, would know the name. Okay. Because um, they're behind-the-scenes people. Okay. Um, but, 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 I mean, these are people. But if I Googled have, the name, it would come. Oh, yeah. Like, these are people that, like, Billboard has written things about. And um, you had a meeting with them. Yeah. She had wow. a Skype meeting. Like, okay. A, I got a call. It was like, hey, next week, we're going to do. I, I scored Alyssa a private audition with so-and-so. And, -so, and wow. I'm like, What? Um, and let me just tell you that, and I, I wish that, I hope that she will sing for you because she sang, um, talking to the moon by Bruno Mars and she nailed it. I mean, just absolutely nailed it for this executive. And, uh, and again, she had like that meltdown cause she was, she didn't even prepare for that audition because she had her first dance competition coming up that weekend. 
So she had spent all week preparing for dance, and then I went home. I was nonstop dancing. I was nonstop dancing the whole week, and I completely forgot about it. My mom was like, "You have that audition this tonight," and I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> I went home on my lunch break, and she had like 15 minutes, and she was melting down, and I literally like just grabbed her hands, and I was like, "Listen, baby." I was like, I've got 15 minutes to work with you, so I don't have time for your meltdown. Like, I'm going to need you to get it together. Keep in mind, two-thirds of this audition you've been preparing your whole life for because it's maturity and personality. You already are who you are, and you're a very mature person. So you got that down. Then after that, all you have to do is sing a song. Yay. <laughs> like, just sing Be a song yourself and, and sing right. a song. You'll be good to go. <laughs> well, um, look, again, you know, congratulations on all your success. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Uh, you know, you, you've taken time to come in. Uh, you know, just want to highlight, you know, some local, uh, you know, talent right here on the shore. And um, again, good luck with everything. Yeah, you're going to yes. continue to do big things. Did you, before yeah. we wrap up, did you want to sing? No. Okay. I and mean, that's all good. It's all good. <laughs> well, we've played, we've, we've played a clip. Tell them, tell them um, where you go from here. Oh, he said that I should um, start writing my own songs, oh. and then get. And he wants me to get into the studio and start producing the songs. Now, how do you? Now, where do you, do you go with him? Is he going to hook that up or get in the studio, or how does that work? That's going to be um, like a Water Sound Entertainment. They're the ones that are like okay. he's already scouting out like professional songwriters that are working legitimately in the business and stuff like that to to work with Alyssa on songwriting. Um, so far as like where we would record, I know he has a studio and that's up in New Jersey. So we might go up there. I also have um, a friend who lives over in Westover who okay. has his own studio. Like he used to have a, a, he was signed to somebody or blah, 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 blah. Like whatever. I know a lot of people and I do a lot of networking, um, but I'm sure that he would let us use his studio because he's a cool dude. So Okay. So shout out to Sean. Well, look, uh, very good again. Uh, congratulations on all you guys' success. Uh, Alyssa, good luck. Thank you. You know, and um, obviously, if you ever, uh, you know, your next move, uh, we want to know about it. We want to bring in. You're always welcome here. Okay. We Thank appreciate you. it. <laughs> Thank yeah. you guys so much. It is uh, 814. It is the Bill and Jessica show. WCEB 0